Superman is the epitome of the term superhero. But what happens when a superhero goes dark? Or rather, their outfit does at least. It's a common trope in superhero media that if a normally virtuous hero is wearing abnormally dark colors, then that's just their evil alter ego, right? Like Wonder Woman to Superwoman, or Spider-Man to dancing emo Tobey Maguire. We're gonna work that clip in every single chance we get. However, this isn't the case for Superman's dark outfit. This outfit, commonly known as the Recovery Outfit, shows a change in strength for the Man of Steel, not in his morality. When Superman is wearing his patriotic red and blue outfit, it's clear that he's the good guy. He is the embodiment of his motto, truth, justice, and the American way. When he dons his black suit, however, well, nothing really changes, actually. Unlike many dark wardrobe changes in superhero media, Superman's dark outfit does not change the man underneath it. The darker outfit is first seen in the aftermath of the infamous Death of Superman storyline in which Superman uh, dies, of course. After his unfortunate passing at the hands of Doomsday, Superman begins to reconstitute himself in the Kryptonian Regeneration Matrix housed in the Fortress of Solitude. Upon breaking out of the Regeneration Matrix, we are greeted with a much different looking version of Superman, sporting a stark black outfit and a luscious flowing mullet. All right, all right, calm down, calm down. Just give him a break, guys. This was the 90s, okay? This new outfit provides a unique look for the Man of Steel, contrasting his typical blue suit with red and yellow accents for a black suit with plain silver accents on his chest logo, bracers, and boots. Perhaps most notable of all, aside from the mullet, of course, is that he's missing his trademark crimson cape, a fact which would probably make Edna Mode from The Incredibles very happy. Okay. This suit, which is most commonly known as the recovery suit, is just that. A suit that Superman uses when he is in recovery. After his fight with Doomsday, Superman was effectively killed. His time spent in the regeneration matrix was enough time to bring him back, but not enough to bring him back to his full strength. It's fortunate then that the primary purpose of the black suit is to get the Man of Steel back into fighting shape as quick as humanly, or rather, Kryptonianly possible. Since Superman is still in recovery while he's wearing the black suit, it does a number of things to help Superman reach his full power as quickly and efficiently as possible. For him, the recovery suit signifies a weakened hero, one that needs to be much more careful than he normally would be. It makes sense then that the primary role of the recovery suit is to speed up the process by which Superman draws his strength from the sun. I mean, it does make sense, right? I know if I wear a black shirt on a hot day, I'm getting way too much energy from the sun. But for Superman, that must be like chugging a six pack of monster energy. Aside from speeding up his recovery, the black suit also aids the Man of Steel's abilities to give him an edge in his battles. Durability is an issue that Superman faces in his weakened state, so the suit addresses this with protection that would normally be irrelevant to a fully powered suit. Of course, one of Superman's most iconic abilities is his flight, but in his weakened state, he may even lose the ability to do that. In the first appearance of the black suit, he is completely incapable of flight and must rely on the suit's flight boots to take to the skies. In this comic, he mentions that he could normally fly across the United States in less than four minutes, but the flight boots make that normally trivial flight take a whole four hours. All things considered, four hours is pretty good considering a typical New York to Los Angeles flight takes around five. Plus, I'm sure he didn't need a layover. While the black suit has always been a relevant piece of history for any Superman aficionado, it has just recently come back into relevance with its inclusion in Zack Snyder's cut of the 2017 film Justice League. Calling back to the death of Superman storyline from the comics, the Man of Steel is killed in Batman v Superman at the hands of Lex Luthor's monster. In the original cut of Justice League, upon his resurrection, Superman returns in his typical blue and red attire. In Zack Snyder's version, however, Superman is back in black with a cape this time, but still referencing the original comic. Unfortunately, without his mullet this time. Snyder stated that this suit represents his relation to his people on Krypton, whereas the blue and red suit represents his place on Earth. It's a pretty interesting dynamic for the darker suit in the DCEU. With such a different design for Earth's mightiest hero, it's no surprise that the suit has a life of its own, making numerous appearances since its initial reveal in 1993. Most notably, he's used the suit as an extra boost to his sun absorption when needed, such as his fight against the Sun Eater, which is pretty self-explanatory, really. The recovery suit is a fan favorite for suits and can be seen represented in different media outside of comics and movies.
The black suit was seen in the video game Justice League Heroes and is one of the most popular versions of Superman's action figures. While generally the suit represents the rebirth of Superman, a black suit kind of just looks really cool, so it's used in other contexts as well, like the generic evil Superman. Superman's recovery suit is seen as a rebirth of the hero, the return of a shining force for justice in the world, symbolized by the Silver S logo. Even though Superman may be weaker when wearing his black outfit, I think he looks much cooler. And for a superhero, cool is important. 